There's a natural overlap between body hackers and the blockchain movement. And here at Body Hacks 2019, a two-day conference in Austin, Texas, I'm planning on joining these couple hundred people who can officially call themselves cyborgs by getting something implanted too. So I've just watched a bunch of videos about getting implants, namely the magnets under the fingers, and they use a scalpel and there's a lot of blood. So that was a little bit much. For me though, it'll be much less gruesome. I'm just getting an NFC-enabled microchip implant. It's housed in glass, about the size of a grain of rice, and so it fits inside a hollow 14-gauge needle. The needle goes in, the implant gets pumped out, the needle comes back out. It hurts about as much as giving blood or getting a piercing, and it gets injected most often between the thumb and index finger. And it's secured by this blockchain. That's the implanter's joke. Some attendees had programmed their chips to open RFID safes and doors, unlock their phones, and send their contact information to other phones, and some had even hacked their way into creating an authorization for accessing their Bitcoin holdings. That last use case, that's what I'm looking for. So on the last day of the conference, I sat down and a minute later excitedly exclaimed, I'm a cyborg. Thank you for your cooperation. The implant I got, the VivoKey Spark, currently allows users to send an NFC-enabled phone to their profile page or to whatever website they choose. For the test, and to shamelessly promote my content, I set the implant to send a phone to the Bitcoin at 10 website. Oh, shit. <laughs> it did in fact take me to Bitcoin at 10. Can I try? Yes. Now we'll try with another person's phone. What? Cool, huh? Next, I set it to take my phone to my receive Bitcoin QR code, making it easy for people out and about to scan that code and tip me some crypto. Two dollars? I guess, if that's all you're <laughs> willing to give me, cheapskate. And in a week or so, VivoKey will be launching a new API that will allow users to program the chip to act as an authenticator key. With this, I should be able to request that every time I want to send or transfer Bitcoin out of an open source wallet, it'll ask me to scan the chip to validate that transaction. And that way, the chip will act as a unique security measure that might make my hand as valuable as clean eyes in Minority Report. But seriously, don't take my hand. I don't have that much crypto. 